Joe Ibukwe unveils three things very much to to end Biafran agitation as Namde Kanu's successor emerges. The indigenous people of Biafran IPOP have been leading the agitation for succession for the people of the southeast to have a separate country called Biafra. IPOP was founded by Namde Kanu in 2014 to restore a separatist state of Biafra that existed during Nigerian civil war of 1967 to 1970. Since the group was founded, it has led several protests in the southeast agitating for secession. The group was accused by the federal government of Nigeria of being responsible for the insecurity and attacks on government facilities in the southeast region of the country. After the leader of the group, Onam Kanu, was rearrested on June 29th, many Nigerians saw it as the end of IPOP and its agitation for Biafra. However, another leader has emerged, which will now occupy the position of Onam Kanu who is currently in the custody of the State Security Services, SSS. According to Sahara reporters, a Finland-based Nigerian citizen named Simon Ekma has taken over from Namde Kano. According to the reports, Simon Ekma, who hails from Mbo in Ohauku local government area of Ebon State, holds a Master's of Law degree, LLM, he will now be in charge of Radio Biafra to continue the ag agitation. As a matter of urgency, the Buari led government should constitute a committee of the high powered delegations that will lead dialogue between the federal government of Nigeria and the secessionist group. This is because the emergence of the new IPOP leader has proven that Iron Hand will not be able to quell the agitation for Biafra. All the leaders of the secessionist group should be invited for dialogue to resolve all grievances. This also means that the federal government will be ready for compromise for the sake of peace. Amnesty is another option the federal government can use to end the agitation for Biafra. Just like late President Omar Musa Yadua, solved the problem of insurgency in the Niger Delta. President Bori can also use the same thing to end the agitation for Biafra by giving amnesty to all IPOP members. Igbo Presidency The failure of the Igbos to produce the president of Nigeria over the years, despite several agitation contributed to the ongoing agitation for Biafra. Many of the youths leading the agitation for freedom of Biafra felt cheated. They felt not being carried along in the scheme of things. If the Bori government can hand over power to an Igbo man, it will end the agitation for a separatist country called Biafra. Nothing of such. See, even if an Igbo man emerges as a president of Nigeria, that will still never stop the agitation for beer from freedom. The only thing that will stop the agitation is grant the beer friends their freedom. Let them be granted their freedom. These people have been agitating for Biafran freedom for over years now. What is the problem? Is it a crime for someone to say that he doesn't want to be a part of the country anymore? Is it a crime? To me, I don't see it as a crime. It is a decision. And the decision has been made. And it is the decision was made on a fair ground. It's, it was made on a fair ground. So why now deny them of their rights? It is their right. Nigeria also demanded for freedom from the Britain and they were granted. So why is it so difficult for Nigerians to grant freedom to the Eagles? Why?
these people are asking for something which they know that it is their right. The Igbos have been in existence, they have been living together on their own even before the war, before the amalgamation came in. Now they are saying that they don't want this amalgamation anymore because it is not favorable to them, that they want to be on their own. So why are you finding it so difficult to understand? Why can't you grant them the freedom that they are asking for? Why? So I don't see, I, I, what I, what, with what I'm seeing here, I will tell you that uh, that President Momo Bori, whether he grants the Igbos presidency or not, that will not still change the decision of Ndigbo. Their decision of Ndigbo, the, the majority, is um, is the decision of attaining the Biafran freedom. And that is what they are agitating for and nothing more than that. So whosoever that wants to know should know. Whosoever that wants to know to know. Do you understand? So nothing change, changes that. It doesn't change that. So that is that, by the way. Then amnesty. Okay. Um, amnesty, 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 amnesty. It's a very good option anyway. But will the president adhere to that? We, will he adhere to that? I bet you that is going to be the least that Bori will ever want, want to hear. Don't forget that Bori came into power for, for, the, for, for one other reason and not, not for the reason to, to rule this country. Do you think that Bori came into power to rule this country? He came into power because he wants to achieve the his, his Islamization agenda. So coming into power, he discovered IPOP to be an obstacle. So that is why he decided to what? To do away with IPOP by proscribing them immediately. Don't you understand? That is what he did. So you telling him he worried to um, grant amnesty to IPOP is just like telling him to 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 to, to risk his uh, his chances of, uh, of 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 achieving his objective. Do you, do you understand? So Bori will not even concur to that. Can't you see how he's granting amnesty to the Boko people? People who are even dangerous, who carry arms about, who move up and down with, with ammunition. He grants amnesty to them. But I pop that is that is armless, that doesn't go about with, with 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 weapons, that doesn't kill, that doesn't rape, he still proscribed them. That alone should give you an insight of who Bori is and the plan. The, the evil plan that he has for the for the Igbos. And it's so painful that even our Igbos are not they are they are seeing all these things, our our Igbo leaders, they are seeing all these things and instead of them to um to, to do something about it, they are, they are even um uh, they, are, they are even supporting worry the more. They are even supporting him the more. So amnesty is a fine thing, but I don't think Bari is going to do that. You cannot compare um, Yadua administration to President Momo Bari's administration. Bari, uh, Bari is leading us with autocratic power. Yadua never ruled us with autocratic power. Yeah, um, yesterday I was with a friend and the friend was telling me that we are not in a democratic system of government, so we should stop deceiving ourselves. That we are still very much in a military system of government because we are being ruled by force. And that is the truth. Nothing more than that. We are under a military system of government. Bori is ruling us with force. So the earlier we understand that, the better. You understand? So let me hear from you, my dear viewers. If you are new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates.